In this session, we'll be going over the home page in Joule. Once you log into Joule, I'll bring it to this page, which is known as the home page. On the left hand side, we have the main menu block. In the main menu block, there's different links that'll link you to different sites. The site news, if you click on the site news, will bring you to information that is from the e-learning team. Any information that we find that needs to be important for you to know, we will post here or anything about the site. If it may be down or something, we'll be posted here for maintenance. The other link is technical support. If you click on the technical support, this is where you can go to create a ticket for tech support if you're having technical difficulties. It will give you numbers when they're on campus. And if you click here, this is where you can click to file a ticket. Also, we have document downloads that are helpful, PDF versions of our guides and policies. Below that is application downloads. If you need to update some of your applications, you can click here in this area and that will get for there for you. Another link is to our main website. By clicking this, it will bring you to our MidState website. That way, if you want to go to different areas, maybe for library resources or anything like that would be useful for helping you write papers, you can click in this area. The next link is your MidState email. By clicking this, that will be a shortcut to help you log into your MidState email and check your email to see if you have anything from your instructors or maybe you want to email them. An important thing about if you're going to use your MidState email to email your instructor is that in the subject line, we need you to have the course prefix and the course number. That will help the instructors know which course you're talking about. Then we'll go back. Then we have in the middle section, My Courses. My Courses is going to list your current courses that you're currently enrolled in for the term. Below that is, again, Site News. The site news is from our e-learning team of any important information that you need to know or when our, maybe our site may be down for maintenance, it will be listed here as shown below. There are some examples. In the upper left hand corner you have where it shows that you are logged in and there is a log out button. Again this is where you can click to log out of here if you were done. In the next session we will go over actual courses and the course page and how to navigate through there. To get into your first course, you can click on the course link and that will get you into the course.